As we have learned, a model does not perfectly replicate observational data or perfectly predict future data. The better the model is, the closer it can come to accurate replication and prediction. However, sometimes observational data can contain anomalies. This is often a single data point which lies particularly far outside the model's predictions. Identifying an anomaly can be difficult, especially if the data is collected over a long period of time. At the time of recording, it may not be obvious that the data point is an anomaly, especially if another recording is not going to be made for some time. Such anomalies can lead to incorrect predictions being made. To highlight this, let's take a look at another Olympic event, the men's long jump. Like the 100 meter sprint, this event has been part of the modern Olympics since 1896. If the data for the winning jump in the finals is plotted for the years 1896 through to 1964, we can see a definite trend. It is not unreasonable to use this data to predict the distance of the winning jump in subsequent Olympic finals. In 1968, the Olympic Games were held in Mexico City. Bob Beeman won with a leap of 8.90 metres. He beat the previous Olympic record by 78 centimetres and his own world record by 51 centimetres. As the next Olympics would not be held for another four years, Beeman's jump might be included to adjust our predictions for future winning jumps. But was this jump simply an anomaly? In 1968, many Olympic records were broken in Mexico City as a result of its thin atmosphere due to its high altitude. Interestingly, if we add the data for the next seven Olympic Games, we can see that the original line of best fit prediction or model was very close. Beeman's world record was bettered by Mike Powell in 1991, but his Olympic record still stands to this day. Clearly a model for predicting future records should consider factors like increasing fitness of runners, better nutrition and better training methods. But if one Olympic game suddenly introduces a new effect, such as thinner atmosphere with less wind resistance, jump distances could be much longer than predicted by the model. If your data includes values that are far away from the line of best fit, there may be an unknown effect that needs to be investigated. Data points which have been identified as anomalies may sometimes be removed as they are not representative of the data under normal conditions. Once again, question everything.